supply drops recently, and in this video I open up 11 supply drops. And I've gotten some pretty sick camos, all that I've recorded. And uh, it got me thinking, like, what are the sickest camos you guys have seen? Like, uh, obviously we're all going to compare, like, the ones that call Luigi, the ones that Counter-Strike, and in Counter-Strike you get some pretty, pretty good looking ones, but... What have you seen in, in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 so far that hasn't been, like, uh, user-made? So one that's already in the game, one that you unlocked from a supply drop. Because uh, the ones I've, I've gotten have looked pretty fucking good. But yeah, uh, I open up 11 in this video, and you guys will see everything, because I'm going to be talking to you guys about something a little bit, uh, about the Call of Duty World League. And uh, maybe I'll miss like a legendary supply drop or something. But I, I show you how it looks in game. I go through all the motions of the the taunts and stuff that I unlock. But yeah, over uh, last weekend, I was able to cast the Call of Duty World League Pro Division qualifiers for the North American side, and uh, I had a an absolute blast. Uh, I haven't really commentated anything like that serious in a long time. Uh, the last thing I did before that was like a Black Ops 2 throwback tournament. So I was a little bit rusty going into it, but uh, it was a really fun weekend. And if you guys missed it or missed uh, a few games here or there, uh, the VODs are already up. They're on the official Call of Duty YouTube page, and I'll post a link in the description for you guys if you want to check it out. But there were some really amazing moments and some crazy maps. Like, this new hardpoint is sick the way it works. Like, uh, there were so many... Just mind-blowing moments that happened. Um, you know, the first one that comes to mind is that phase versus complexity hardpoint. I'm not going to spoil it for any of you guys, but that was a crazy series. Like, yeah, it was a, it was a really good time. So if you missed any of that, once again, you go to the official Call of Duty YouTube page. And this is the one camo that I was like specifically trying to talk about. This storm I got for the dredge. So I don't really use the dredge at all, but this. Uh, this camo is definitely the favorite out of the ones I've unlocked, so let me take off the current one I have on it. And the storm is actually like an animated camo, as you can see. And I just think that looks that looks pretty good. I mean, unfortunately, I don't really use this gun too much. It would have been sick if I would have got it for like the M8 or something, but yeah, that's the favorite camo and the, the craziest one I've at least seen so far. But going back to the Call of Duty like World League stuff that I was talking about casting, how do you guys think I did? Because uh, like I was saying a little bit before, it has been quite some time since I've last cast something that serious. And I'm sure there are a lot of new viewers who haven't heard my casting before that maybe they started it, uh, you know, watching maybe towards the end of Ghosts, uh, the end of Advanced Warfare. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, to keep you updated on the VODs that are up in case you guys missed it. And to show off some of the stuff I got from these supply drops. And if you guys are out there, you're earning a lot of crypto keys. Don't open the rare supply drops. I find that they're they're a waste of crypto keys, right? So you, it's 30 per rare supply drop. And it's only 10 for a regular one. And as you can see, I, I still get a good amount of like legendaries, epics, and overall just rare supply drops. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you again soon.